Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, we're going to do a quick overview of Zoho Forms. With this app, you're going to be able to create online forms that you can use to collect information. It has a lot of features available, and we're going to try to cover them all. All right, let's get started. Here we are on the Forms tab, where you can find all the forms you have created. There is a submenu on the left that you can use to find other forms that were shared with you, and below you have the Recycle Bin. This submenu helps you keep everything organized. If you want to search for a form, you can use this icon. You have the filters here as well. On the very left of the screen is the navigation bar that you can use to open other modules like reports, tasks, and users, but more on that later. Now let's create a new form. For that, we're going to use the new form button. On this tab, you can select if you want to start from scratch or choose a template. In my case, we're going to pick a template. We have a lot of options here on the left, so let's use the complaints template. It looks good, so we're going to click on use this template. The form has been created. In this form page, we can make any changes we need. To add a field, just drag and drop it from the left. To remove a field, just hover over the field and then click on the delete button. We have a lot of other options on the top, but we will go over them in a second when I show you another form that I already have. To preview the form, you can click on this button. This is what the form would look like, and you can even complete it to test it out. All right, I'm gonna close this tab. And this form is ready, so let's open the share tab. Here we can find a public URL that we can send to our contacts. If this is not meant to be a public form, you can turn it off with this button. You can also share this form with specific users that already use the app. And that's it. Once you send the link to your contacts, they're gonna be able to open the form and they can start sending you answers. Now let's go back and I'm gonna show you another form I already have. It is this one right here, and we're going to click on the edit button. This form has several pages and even some fields that the contact is not going to see. Something that we didn't go over before is that we have some advanced fields here. Also, let's review the rest of the tabs that we didn't cover before. On the rules tab, you can set up different rules that your form is going to follow. Here we have a field rule, and based on a previous answer given, then a field is going to be required. We also have form rules, and in this case, if a specific answer is chosen, then the entry is going to be assigned to a user. And finally, we have page rules, meaning that we can show or hide pages based on previous answers. The next tab is settings, and we have a lot here. Something to keep in mind is that all these settings are only affecting this form. So when you create a new form, you have to configure the settings again. In the general tab, you can set up your email server, spam control, and more. You can also turn on or off the save and resume feature. Here you can set up the custom messages to show up on your form. You can also translate your form to multiple languages. And in this case, we have it translated to Spanish. Here we can configure the notifications and then we have more settings. As I said, there are a lot of features here. The next tab is themes where you can change the way your forms look. There are pre-made themes, but you can create your own themes as well. On the share tab, you'll find a ways you can share your form. We already mentioned the public link, but you can also send it to users directly from here. You can also embed your form on your website and send it via email using Zoho campaigns and MailChimp. On the integrations tab, you will find all the integrations available. In this case, this form creates a lead in Zoho CRM automatically. Zoho Forms integrates with a lot of other Zoho apps, but it also works with other apps like Salesforce, it can trigger webhooks, and even connects to Zapier. Something to keep in mind is that each form can only integrate with one app at a time. So if you integrate it with Zoho CRM, then you won't be able to use the other integrations. The last tab is approvals, where you can configure a workflow to approve or reject entries in your forms. All right, let's go back to the forms page. If you hover over a form, you can see other options like all entries that show you all the entries you got in that form or analytics that shows you how many contacts opened the form and how many completed it or audit that shows you the activity on the form. The reports tab on the left shows you all the reports you have created. A report is a filter version of the entries you got on the form. For example, this report only shows entries that have selected yes to the question, do you have a website? You can create as many reports as you want. On the tasks tab, you will find all the tasks that have been assigned to you via custom rule. 
In this case, we only have one form that is assigning tasks, which is the contact us form. And inside we would see the entries that have been assigned to me based on the form rules. Task is a way to assign a Zoho form user to an entry in case it needs to be reviewed. And the users tab is where you can add or remove users as well as assign admins. The last thing I want to show you is the settings. Here you can change your portal name, add a custom domain, set up notifications, add email senders, and even administer your data if you need to export it. All right, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Forms is part of the Zoho One suite. So if you would like to check out Zoho One, I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.